Hello friends, welcome back to the channel, Neat Biology Expert, I am Dr. Parveen. In this lecture series, we are studying Class 12 Biology, Chapter Reproductive Health. In this particular lesson, we are going to learn about infertility. So, what is infertility? What are the reasons for the male and female infertility? So, these are the things we are going to see. Let's get started. So, what is the definition for the word infertility? Infertility is the inability or failure to conceive within one or more years even after unprotected regular sexual intercourse. That means if a couple is there, they are married, they are having regular sexual intercourse without using any pregnancy preventive methods. That means not using condoms or anything. Okay. So even though the woman is not getting pregnant. So, within one year or more than one year. So, this is called as infertility. Right. So, this infertility is broadly classified into two types. Primary infertility and secondary infertility. Primary infertility is not becoming pregnant after at least one year. That means after marriage. Okay. So, in after first year, second year. So, like this. They not become pregnant after marriage that means not even getting one baby at all so this is called as primary infertility secondary infertility means they had previous pregnancy the couple had a baby already the first baby is there but they are unable to make second child so this stage is called as secondary infertility okay so they had previous pregnancy but unable to conceive subsequently the next time second or third child will not form. So, that is called secondary infertility. So, here many couples all over the world, they are infertile but in particularly India, often the female is blamed for the infertility. In many families it occurs. The reason for this is infertility could be due to some problem in the male or with the female. Could be a reason, the reason could be a, a husband or the wife. But in India, commonly the females are blamed. That is because of lack of education or lack of awareness of all this reproductive health. Okay, right. So, let us see what happens actually in a male in case of infertility. So, if a male infertility is there, the man will have the inability to produce sufficient number of sperms or quality sperms. That means either the man could not able to produce enough number of sperms. Okay, that is called azoospermia. Enough number of sperms may not be present. So, how much sperm should be present? It is about 200 to 500 million sperms. Okay, so if this much amount of sperms are not there, in that case, the male is called as infertile. Or sperm will be there, but they won't be of quality sperms. The structure or the shape, the movement will not be good. So, in such condition, the male will be infertile. So, these are the basic reasons in male infertility. In case of female, inability of a woman to become pregnant or to maintain a pregnancy. She either cannot become, uh, not become pregnant. If she becomes pregnant, that pregnancy won't retain. It will get aborted. Okay. So, such condition is called as female infertility. Right. So, let us see what are the various reasons for infertility. The, the reason for infertility is enormous could be because of some diseases or congenital reasons or some psychological problems or usage of some drugs, physical problem or immunological problem, etc. Okay. So, let us see some examples for this. The first one is disease. So, if there is a tumor in the pituitary gland or in any reproductive organs, it may lead to infertility. We know that this pituitary gland is the master gland of the endocrine system. So, it controls the sex hormone production. So, if there is a tumor in the pituitary gland, there will be a deficiency in the estrogen or progesterone production. So, this may lead to infertility or tumor in the male or female reproductive organs lead to infertility. The second reason could be due to any mutations, mutations in the genes which is responsible for the sex hormone synthesis. Okay. Next one, congenital reasons. That means malformation of the cervix or fallopian tubes in the case of female or even malformation of the penis or testis. Okay. So, malformation of the genital organs. That This could be a reason for infertility. 
psychological reasons so stress long time stress it affects the regular menstrual cycle so if the menstrual cycle is not regular the ovulation won't occur properly so in that case it affects the fertility the next one is usage of certain chemicals or drugs for example accidental ingestion of toxins particularly heavy metal like cadmium so it affects the fertility of a per person or heavy use of drugs like alcohols tobacco marijuana marijuana is a leaf okay so such drug drug abuse this may lead to infertility the reason could be of physical that means injuries to the gonads if there is an accident or injury or trauma if the male or the female reproductive organs get affected in that at that time they won't able to reproduce or aging aging is a factor physical factor so as the age increases the ability to reproduce decreases okay so aging also causes infertility and inadequate nutrition before childhood so this is important for example the kids they attain puberty at 13 years right so what they are eating before that period before the adulthood that is highly important so that will affect their future life okay so the more healthy foods the kids they eat during their childhood it will help for even for their reproductive health okay and could be due to immunological reasons so these are the various factors for the infertility right so let us see what are the reasons for the male infertility so the first one is undescended testis that means one or both of the testis the fail to descend from the abdomen into the scrotum so when the embryology during the embryo development the testis forms okay this testis should be present inside the scrotum so for some people what happened it fails to descend so in such case it leads to infertility so this condition is called as cryptorchidism right so look at this picture here so this is a normal testis where the testis is present inside the scrotum for some people the testis may be present here or here or here in the abdominal region could be anywhere so this condition is called as undescended testis this may lead to infertility in male okay the second reason is a swollen veins or this is called as varicose seal in the scrotum we know varicose veins right it occurs in the legs so similar condition occurs in the veins of the scrotum so look at the picture here here this veins they get enlarged enlarged by that twisting of this veins it it becomes like a cord like structure okay so this is called as varicose so in this condition what happens the man will have infertility so outside it will be like this okay the structure will be like this some twisted like structure in the scrotum okay right the other reason for male infertility could be tight clothing this is a common problem now in the this generation so they used to wear tight inner words or a tight jeans pant like this okay the scrotum temperature should be less than the body temperature so body temperature is 37 degree means scrotal temperature should be around 35 or less than that okay so in this temperature only sperm production will be good and sperms will be healthy so tight clothing in the men they raise the scrotal temperature which affects the healthy sperm production right autoimmune responses in their own sperms what happens if a man produces sperms his own body will produces anti sperm antibodies anti sperm antibodies so what happen this antibodies will kill all the sperm whatever he produces so there won't be any live sperms so in such case he will be infertile okay under developed testis testis will be small in size even penis size will be small in size these are some malformation right alcohol so if a man drinks more alcohol okay so he may be infertile or thyroid dysfunction hyperthyroidism hypothyroidism high or low thyroid both causes the problem illness or infections so if a man is having res reproductive tract infection like chlamydia aids gonorrhea syphilis like this infection in such case he may become infertile so these are the reasons for male infertility okay let us see the reasons for female infertility so three most important reasons are there 
pelvic inflammatory disease that is called PID because of some infection in the upper reproductive tract. Okay, so the inflammation occurs. This is called pelvic inflammatory disease. So look at this picture here. Here this is an inflamed ovary whereas you see here this is a normal size ovary. Okay, so here inflammation will be there in the endometrium or in the uterus. Inflammation in the vagina. So these are the various reasons for pelvic inflammatory disease. So in such case the woman become infertile. Okay, second common reason is fibroids. You try fibroids. Fibroids means these are the bars of tissues. They grow anywhere in the reproductive system. They are non-cancerous. Okay, it's a mass of tissue, but they are not cancerous cells. So that is called uterine fibroids. So look here, fibroids. These are the mass of tissue growths, extra unnecessary tissues. This will affect the normal reproductive functions. Okay, and third one is endometriosis. Endometriosis is a condition where this reproductive organ, different regions have different types of tissues, right? So, this endometrium have a, a, a type of tissue. So, the same endometrial tissue will grow anywhere in the reproductive system. See here, it grows on the fundus, it grows on the ovaries, it grows on here like this, okay? So, the tissues which makes the endometrium, they grow anywhere in the reproductive system. So, this condition is called as endometriosis. So, in such case, the female will be infertile. Clear? Next, the most common reason for infertility among women is PCOS. What is PCOS? Polycystic ovarian syndrome. This is a hormonal disorder. So, the woman with this PCOS will have infrequent or prolonged menstrual period. The menstrual cycle will not be normal. Either it will be it takes long time or infrequent like this it varies okay or because of the hormonal problem we said no so here the androgen male hormone will be produced in excess so that's why the rare menstrual cycle will not be normal in this woman okay not only that the ovaries develop small numerous collection of fluids called follicles this is called as watery follicles watery filled follicles okay so, in the ovaries, you could see here, this is a normal healthy ovary, whereas here, these are the watery filled follicles ovary. So, this condition is called polycystic ovary. Such polycystic ovary could not able to produce healthy eggs. Okay. So, in such case, the female will become infertile. This is a common problem among women. Right. Let us see the other reasons for female infertility. Low body fat or anorexia. So, what is anorexia? Anorexia, this is a psychological problem common now among the young generation because this college girls, school girls, they have a trend like they don't want to become fat, okay, obese. So, they won't eat properly. For our body, fat is also an important substance. We need fat, we need lipids, okay. So, if they won't eat properly, if they avoid the fatty substances, low body fat will be there. So, in such condition, it affects their reproductive health. They become infertile. Okay. So, here anorexia means not eating. This is called as, we can even call this as eating disorder. Disorder. This is a hormonal, uh, sorry, psychological problem. So, they think that if they eat more, they will become obese. So, they won't eat. Okay, this results in the infertility in case of few person. The second one is underdeveloped ovaries. The ovaries size will be small or not function well. So, they won't produce good amount of estrogen or they won't produce good healthy eggs. That is called underdeveloped ovaries. Or in some females, there will be immunological reasons. That means antibodies will be produced against the sperm. Previously, we have seen in case of male, anti-sperm antibodies will be produced. That is autoimmune disorder. The man will produce antibodies against his own sperm. Here, the female produce antibodies against the sperm. So, even after sexual intercourse, even if the sperm is healthy and it goes inside, the anti-sperm antibodies kills those sperms. In such case, they won't become uh, pregnant. Okay, So, this could be a reason or early miscarriage. 
sometimes an ovulation the ovaries do not release an egg or a oocyte so these are the various reasons for the female infertility clear right so here we should understand a most important condition called mayer rokitansky syndrome this is short form m r k h syndrome okay what is this this is a condition in which a female girl will be born with ovary but not having a functional uterus either the uterus won't be there or the uterus won't be functional so such condition is called as mrkh syndrome why it occurs this is an congenital malformation which occurs because of the failure of the mullerian duct to develop mullerian duct is the thing which develops into the female reproductive system in the female baby so this occurs in the embryo okay in the fetal life itself so if there is a problem in this mullerian duct development what happens the uterus will be missing okay so such condition is called as m r k h syndrome so let us see this picture see this is a normal uterus okay having here the here on either side having ovary but here in this case the female will have only ovaries but this region uterus is missing absence of uterus tubes vagina even fallopian tube won't be there even vagina won't be there so like this very rare condition okay so not only this one there will be other some congenital malform uterus this may also lead to infertility for example if this is a normal uterus these are the different malformed uterus okay so see here didal phase here there will be a cleavage in the uterus here arcuate means here there is a depression here in the uterus so unicornurate means the uterus is turned in one direction unicorn one sided biconurate means bi sided two sided uterus septate means there is a tissue growth here so like this these different malformed uterus may leads to infertility in case of female right okay so these are the various reasons for male and female infertility we have said it could be either one reason or more than one reason it varies among the individuals okay so there are something called infertility clinics this infertility clinics could help in the diagnosis of the accurate reason what is the reason for this infertility why the couple is not having baby child like this they diagnose the reason okay then they give the correct treatment to rectify the problem okay so if it is not treatable there are some techniques that is called assisted reproductive technologies okay so through which the couple could able to have children so these special techniques are called as art assisted reproductive technologies so for example you see if, if if it is a hormonal problem or a low sperm count something like this it could be treatable means they try to treat it if it is not treatable it is a malform formation or some physical dysfunction like this in such case it is for sure that a couple could not able to have kids so in such condition these infertility clinics they have certain techniques which helps the couple to have to assist them to have the babies okay so such techniques are called as assisted reproductive technologies so what is this assisted reproductive technologies that is art technologies so this we will learn in our next lesson so i hope this lesson is clear for you if you like this lecture please like comment and subscribe to our channel neat biology expert thank you